Hello again. So with these videos, I'm just sharing my simple approach to kids photography and trying to demystify the whole process. I reckon any mom or dad with a kid and a camera can be a kids photographer. So this is my first video where I actually attempt to pass along some tips you can use right away, like tomorrow. In this little crash course, I'm going to give you some ideas about how to use windows to take portraits at home. For portrait photography, you really need to develop an eye for flattering light, and you can often find that with window light. There's a bunch of ways to use windows, but it's mainly about working the angles. So for each possibility, I'm just going to give you a simple graphic showing the position of the window, you know, the light direction, you, and junior. So the first option is having you and your kid kind of like 90 degrees to the window so you end up with this look where one side of the face is lighter than the other and then you'll have a shadow on the opposite side. So we call this modeling. It's kind of like how light and shade plays out in the face and in the image. It can be really subtle but it's there and it's super important. It makes a huge difference in your photography. And here's a couple more shots using this basic positioning to the window. It's a pretty common look. You see it all the time in editorial portraits and magazines. And it's great for canines. Another approach is just put your back against the window and let the light come straight into the room and just evenly light the faces. There's essentially no modeling, but it's super easy and no fail. And it's the best option for groups, especially if there's grown-ups, as it is a bit of a proven wrinkle reducer. And it's always easy to get nice light in the eyes, which is just so key to this type of photography. And whenever you have to get a shot, this is the way to do it. Now just turn you and your subject like a tiny bit. It gives a subtle change, but you can see there's nice light now on the side of the face towards the camera, but then on the opposite side you have a bit more shadow. Shooting from this angle is safe, but you get a bit more drama and light in the eyes, which like I say, it's super important. So the next option is to start shooting into the light. This is where things get much more interesting and dramatic, working from the darker side of the face. I use this angle more for, you know, activities, like when kids are actually doing things. You can use it for portraits, but it is a bit tricky. And now you come right around and just shoot pretty much directly into the light and use the window as a big backlight. This works really well on sunny days and overcast days. You know, it's a kind of a cool, slick look, and you need to understand a little bit about your camera either exposure compensation or how to drive the thing in manual mode. Don't worry, I'll be getting to all this stuff in the future. I'm always looking for these shots when I'm working in schools, as most of these modern schools have huge windows. So next is my overcast day portrait setup. This is actually some of my favorite light. You just get right tight to the window. You kind of want your subject to turn their head just a tiny bit into the light, and then you dial in shallow depth of field but you have to remember to concentrate on being really steady and just focus on that closest eye. You'll be really surprised how well this works on extremely overcast days, even if it's raining. And it's the go-to look for reflections. I like reflections. And kind of a rare but awesome window are those 45 degree skylights. Usually you find them in stairwells. It's almost like studio lighting from that angle, but like I say, they're not very common. Now, if you have a corner room with big windows at 90 degrees that just lets in a huge amount of light so you can start doing these action freezing shots but remember you want to get your shutter speed up around 500th or more and don't worry i'll be getting to these five magic numbers in some videos soon you can really play around with these multi-window rooms they give you tons of options shooting into the windows can be really beautiful if you have the right setting now this next window you don't really find in too many homes, but it's more of a public spaces look. But it's these big curved windows. This is some of the nicest window light you'll ever see. Because you get the modeling on one side, but it wraps around from the other side. So that's basically how I photograph kids using natural light inside homes. Now have a look at the windows in your place and try some of these ideas while they're still fresh. If you want some feedback, join my private Facebook group. Please subscribe to this channel. I have lots more of these videos planned. And thanks for watching.